Did the Crusades simply peter out? The Crusades to the Holy Land come to an end um, uh, dramatically in, in 1291 when the Port of Acre is, is stormed, by the, stormed by the Muslims and you have no more possessions on the mainland. They come to an end in terms of military expeditions. There is never uh, another great expedition to the Holy Land. It proves impossible to organise one. The crusading movement, though, goes on for many, many more generations. It moves northwards to a large degree when the Ottoman Turks invade the Balkans and start to threaten the, um, the Christian heartlands. So crusading takes a very, very different direction. It follows a very different direction. But the, the Holy Land Crusades, 1291 is the terminal point for that because there is, a, there is a Muslim reoccupation and that's the end of two centuries of Christian settlement. I wanted to ask you finally about the after image which the Crusades left on the Western mind because in the immediate aftermath there, was, there were churches built in memory of them and there were chronicles written about them and obviously the iconography, some mm-hmm. of which is in the book. Can you, can you say a bit about how they were commemorated in the immediate aftermath and then also what you think the afterimage they have left right down to the, the, the present on, on our view of, of East and West and Muslim and, and Christian. They leave a residue, firstly, of architecture. There are standing buildings, um, including, for example, the, the last um, colour plate in the book, the Sainte Chapelle in Paris, the, the magnificent Gothic chapel built by Louis IX and Louis of France to house his relics, which he brought back with him from crusading. So there are buildings, including some marvellous um, uh, churches, which take the form of the of the Holy Sepulchre church itself, or resemble the Holy Sepulchre. Uh, numerous uh, relics. Uh, um, in Western Europe today, uh, which are which were brought back by Crusaders, which form a kind of constant link with um, with the Crusading period and uh, remind us of the religious feelings um, uh, which underpinned it. There are numerous writings, of course, in terms of chronicles, in terms of uh, in terms of memoirs, an enormous amount of of written testimony about Crusading. There are also, of course, the architectural remnants out there in Cyprus and in and in the Holy Land, churches and and castles and the like, which remind us of the settlers. Achievement is, is a difficult one, a difficult term to address. Sir Stephen Runciman in the 1950s concluded his three-volume history of the Crusades by saying that crusading was a sin against the Holy Ghost, that it was a, a violation of, of basic Christian values. I think we've moved away from that now. We see crusading as something which was fully in accordance with contemporary views about what Christianity should be, about the way in which you should express your allegiance towards Christ. The, what is a crusader after all doing but imitating Christ in terms of wearing the cross which he carried and suffered on. So there is a very close co- correlation with medieval views of what it is to be a Christian and in fact crusade, one of the great things about crusading is that it acts constantly as a mirror and it shows us the way in which Christian beliefs were evolving, were changing in the course of the 12th and 13th centuries. The waste is obviously there. I mean, the, the loss of lives was horrific and the loss of lives which weren't just Christian but also mostly Jewish and, and, and Muslim is also there. But so too was a, a, a terrifically positive experience in terms, of, in terms of the effort, in terms of the input, in terms of the belief. And also, it has to be said, in terms of the big push that crusading gave to Western Europe governments because the effort of moving these huge armies out there posed uh, challenges which they had to meet and which um, added considerably to the advances in, in government and in military, um, military activity in the medieval centuries.